Hi, it's Heather with Bonaire Quilt Company. I wanted to talk to you about balance. Color balance is important in a quilt. Often the quilts that really wow you are the ones that they've got a really great balance in the color and, and the value that's happening in the quilt. Often we'll look at quilts and especially with t-shirt quilts, we have a tendency to cluster things together. We might see a quilt where it's got a run of maroons going across the bottom, or the maroons are clustered in some way that isn't necessarily visually appealing. In this uh, grouping of eight, we have four maroons. So there's an easy way for us to balance the maroon, and it's just to move things down and create a little bit of balance. I don't, I'm not crazy about this particular one. I feel like we need more whites. If, um, if we were doing a large quilt, most likely we would have lighter colored t-shirts as well. As you're creating your layout, I want you to really think about what colors you have, how many of each. So as I go through a quilt, I tend to cut first. Once I have the layout and I know what's going to happen, I'm going to cut out all my t-shirts and then I put them in piles. So in this case, I would have a pile of maroon, a pile of white, a pile of gray, a pile of black, and a pile of orange. And when I have odd colors, so I've got three of oranges, I'm going to put one in the middle and then I'll have two on the sides. And then I've got one black, so I'm going to put that right in the middle. And I'm going to find some way to create that balance of value and of color as well. When you have a lot of maroon, such as with Virginia Tech shirts, what you can do is you can often balance those out first. You can put things on the four corners, which would be perfect for even numbers. Um, if you've got five, you can have cornerstones that are like in black and then one in the middle that's black. Um, and then you can build your larger colors around that. So your maroons might come in and you might have two going down, um, then an interruption of some sort, and then two more coming down. You can play around with it. Don't be worried about getting it all laid out all at once. Sometimes when I'm laying out a t-shirt quilt, I will lay it out on the floor. I'm lucky enough to have a basement. I can do this. I'll lay it out on the ground and I just leave it. And I go back upstairs and I do something else. And then when I come back to it, I'll look at it with new eyes. And when I do that, I'll often see things that I'm not quite happy about. And so I start moving things around again. This process, it's not unusual for this to take me an hour to really get the balance right in a t-shirt quilt. So don't be afraid to do it. Don't be afraid to look at different designs that you can make even within that t-shirt quilt itself. Um, I've made them before where they had a cross, you know, like because the client I was making a quilt for had a lot of Christian church stuff in there. Um, so don't be afraid to kind of play around with what that layout can look like for this particular quilt. So that's my advice. Um, come on over to bonnierquiltco.com and sign up for our newsletter and we hope to see you soon.